here back with another lego mixels review for you guys today i'm going to be reviewing vampos from series four very very excited so we just let's just get right into this now this is this set is for ages six plus has 59 pieces and is set number four one five three four now starting out on the uh, front of the packaging here first off really really have to say that i love the packaging awesome coloring i love the dark blue with the mixtures down here with the purple and the pink really makes it pop whenever you're looking at it especially the pink really makes you want to pick up the packaging very very cool down here on the bottom left you can see that it's still going on on cartoon network as well as the unique feature to this tribe this is the only tribe in lego mixels so far that has glow in the dark pieces very very cool i will show you all those pieces whenever we actually review vampos now here he is in his uh brick built states you can see a little bit of what's to come as well as a little badge saying series four and on the top right his cartoon state so it does say vampos and then his cartoon state this is what you'll see in cartoon network if you watch the show so very very cool same nothing really changed here on the top just the color so yeah that's basically it now on the back here you can see that if you get all three of the glow keys then you can make glow keys max which is very very cool really really liking how lego is doing this uh, i hope they keep it up as well as all the other mixels in series four so uh, yeah that's basically it for the back and the front of the packaging. I found mine at Target, early release. They were not supposed to already have it out, but my Target did put it out accidentally, so I just snagged them all up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at Vampos himself. Okay guys, so here is Vampos. He is a very, very cool mix, so really, really liking all the pieces, especially the glow in the dark pieces, which we will get into later. As well as you can see that it does come with a Nixel. So a new build of the Nixel, which we will get into in a couple seconds here. Very, very cool. Um, really, really liking the build. Printed face as we have gotten before. But before we do that, I do want to go into the instruction manual again. As you have seen, I usually look at the instruction manual just because it is very, very cool. Now on this one, it is the same printing as the um, front of the cover on the packaging as well as Vampos up there but very very nice printing on here or not printing but design I really really am liking these mountains as I was saying whenever we were looking at the packaging now in the back of the booklet you will see a much clearer and bigger list of the rest of the series 4 mixels so if you guys want to whoops guys want to look at that and then that was the teaser image that we did get if you've seen my video on the series for Mixel Pictures, as well as a little bit of a teaser on what's going to go on on Cartoon Network with the new characters from series four. So that is very, very cool. Now the one last thing that it is, it is in here is that if you get all three, obviously, from this tribe, you do get to make the max. So that's very, very cool. This is a much bigger version. You can see the uh, Glow Keys max, much, much better. Very, very cool. Really, really liking the fangs on here, which is actually from Vampos in this set. So, very, very cool. Now, let's just get right into this set. Enough of me talking. Now, starting off with this very, very cool Nixel here. Now, uh, if you've not seen my review on Rocket, make sure you guys go check that out. There's also a Nixel in that set. So, if you're wanting to get only the sets that come with Nixels, you know, because it is just extra parts, extra uh, little thing to build. Uh, Rocket is the one that does come with another one, so that's very, very cool. Now, this is a new build, not new face here, but uh, new with these arms, because they can go all the way up and over like that. They can go all the way around, which is very, very cool. Really, really posable. You can put them all the way down like this. They're going to come in and get your stuff, uh, steal some things. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for him. Very, very cool. Really, really liking how they made these feet down here out of the pieces. Very, very cool, as well as using these uh, toe pieces or teeth pieces as hair, I guess you could say. I guess that's what they're using it for here that you see in a lot of the Mixel sets, as well as Chima. So, very, very cool. Now, on the back, obviously, there is nothing really going on there, which, um, like most of them. And, uh, yes, yeah, so that's basically it for this Nixel. 
Now, going into Vampos himself, he is a very, very interesting build. Uh, lots and lots of glow-in-the-dark pieces, which all these um, half-slope pieces here, these cheese slopes as they call them, you can see are a little bit bluish, blue-green. Now, those are the ones that are glow-in-the-dark, so very, very cool if you put them under light, which they are right now. And, obviously, if I turned off the light, they would start glowing, and if it, if it got dark enough. So, that's very, very cool. Now, one more thing to point out is that you do get extras. Now, the eyes also glow. They may not look like they glow, but they do. So, you do get one extra eye, so you have an extra glow-in-the-dark eye, and an extra glow-in-the-dark uh, cheese slope. So, that's very, very cool. I'm really, really glad that they still added the pieces in, even though it's probably harder and more expensive to develop and put in extra pieces, but I'm very, very glad that LEGO still went through with their rule on those smaller pieces of um, putting extra pieces in. So that's very, very cool. Now one thing to note is that these cheese slopes up here, they did not put extra pieces in for. So that's interesting. And uh, yeah, so just give you a little bit of a 360 here on Vampost. You can see the wings back there, which we'll get into later, as well as the unique build of his body. So Let's just get right into that right now. Now his legs are very, very big. You've got very, very big feet on here because it does have to support this head. Now if you look at it like this, it reminds me of, well, Wally. You know, Wally with his big head up here that comes out from like his box. I don't know, that's what it was reminding me of. Maybe even some, some of that was inspiration for building um, Vampos here. Not really sure though, but anyways, getting on to the feet, I'm getting off topic here. Um, we've got the slopes down here, so that'll be very, very cool in the dark to see that. As well as all this very, very cool dark blue pieces. Really, really liking this here. Now, there's nothing on the back of them. They're just very, very big in the front because they do need that to support his weight of his big head that comes out. So, uh, yeah, it's basically it. Same on both sides as I like, which is very, very cool. Now, as for his head here, you can see he has the two super huge teeth that come down from actually not even at the edge of his mouth, like very very in the middle. It almost looks like he like has his chin that's like just these two big fangs, which is kind of interesting. I'm not 100% sure, 100% confident on this like design. It's not really my favorite, but I do like it that it's not, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's not anything like any of the other ones. It's not just some legs, some arms, you know, that sort of thing. So, anyways, let's just get right in back into this. More of these slow pieces on the sides. The eyes are glow in the dark. Now, these teeth are rubbery. You know, I can squeeze them in and stuff like that. Um, he has very, very cool pieces up here that act as ears, I believe. Very, very cool how Lego used that as well as up here these slope pieces as I was saying. Now this is, now his whole head is on a ball and socket joint, which isn't really needed because you can't really pose it with these big teeth. But if I did take off the teeth, you would have a lot of posability with his head. It can go all around, but of course with these teeth, it really, really limits the possibilities of movement on there. But as of the feet, I forgot to mention that they are on ball and socket joints. They can rotate 360 degrees around. So that's always very, very nice to get. Always like getting those bond socket joints. So, uh, yeah. Now, coming back here on the wings, the wings are very, very cool. You can bend them like this. They can go all around in 360. Of course, his head kind of gets in the way some parts. But you can also go all the way down and all the way up like so. So, I don't know. If you want him to look like he has little wings or something, you do that. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for his wings. Now, his wings are kind of a little bit loose. You've seen that probably throughout this video that whenever I touch them, they kind of they wobble all over the place. They're not tightly secured inside these pieces right here. So that's a little bit disappointing, but they can go up and down. And then since they're so loose, they can, they can move like this. So that's very, very cool. You can kind of make him, like, slapping something with his wing or something. Might be kind of interesting, but, uh, yeah. So that's basically it for him. Now on the back, nothing really going on, just this flat tile back here of the blue, dark blue, which I really, really like. Very, very cool. And, uh, yes, that's basically it for Vampos. Here's a one more look of him on the ground, as well as all around him. So, uh, yeah, that's ba that concludes my review on Vampost. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please 
put a rating down in the rating box, as well as put some comments on what you think about this Series 4 and Vampos himself. Do you like him? Do you like his big head? Not, you know, I personally, he's not my favorite, but I do like his teeth. Um, very, very cool, and the glow-in-the-dark pieces. Very, very cool. Really, really like it about that. So yeah, that concludes my review on uh, Vampost. I'm AG Spitta. Make sure you guys go check out my other LEGO reviews. I do reviews on all series. Make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll be back with some more LEGO reviews and news in just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.